Hey folks, thanks very much for joining us. Today I'm going to be tying on another pop rivet. So basically this is a, this time it's a copper pop, copper pop rivet and I've removed the pin. It's on a tube adapter. I haven't given instructions how to convert it, but you just remove the pin as normal. It's in another video which I'll stick in the description. So you're, if you haven't seen it already, you're not missing it. Okay, so we're just adding our thread. The, the fly is a, a long tailed thin gold, so an Irish pattern. Um, so I'm just going to add in Add my thread on, I'm just going to add on my, my tag and my ribbon material, which is gold wire. Okay, and I'm going to just run this down to where I believe the um, the junction tube will, will start to join the tube. So wherever I want, really. Okay. So just bring your gold wire over. I think the original here had the floss for the tag, but I'm going to use it more of a butt as a tag. Okay. Then bring the gold wire right up again. So we're going to use this as our rib, so we can't double it back. We can't set it underneath. Okay, I'm just trying to level out the thread so it's about the same thickness as the as the tag. Don't want the bucktail to be splaying too much. Okay, so the first this tail comes in two parts. The first part is bucktail, so it's is a mixture of well, it's actually a mixture of orange and and yellow, but it's, it's meant to be about seventy yellow, thirty percent orange. This is maybe a wee bit less, but it's what I have handy. Um, so, as always, you've probably seen I've used that for a few cascades and there's just a wee bit more of a balance here. I'm just going to cut that off. I'm not having it too heavy here, just because it's a small tube. Okay. Just going to remove a few more of that. Okay, so the length is entirely up to yourself, probably about one and a half to two times the length of the tube. Okay. I'm going to put that where I think it'll go best. And I'm very lightly putting this bucktail on. And it's probably not in the centre, but I'm not worried because I can always rotate the tube. But I'm just, if I put this on too heavy, or if I put a wee bit of pressure on now, it'll splay out. I don't want that, I just want a small tail just going slightly upwards like that there. Okay. Now then, I'm going to use a wee bit of super glue on top of that. Basically it's not the firm thread, but it's actually the super glue that will help secure that in. If I put in too much pressure, then again it's going to kick up and it'll look like a muddler more than a cascade style um, tail. Um, so the second part of the tail is is yellow uh, fox. I'm only putting a wee small, small bit in here just because, again, it's a small tube. It's got bucktail there already. So just cut off a section. I'm going to remove the guard hairs at the top. Hold the top and then remove the under fur. And I'm going to place this, this is probably going to go about halfway into the tail. Okay. up here a little bit. Okay. Um, so the butt is going to be, I'm basically using red floss, like a, it's a dark orange or red floss here. And I'm just going to double it up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to double it up here. 
So basically you've got two two strands of floss and then just wind that on. That'll do me there. Okay, I'm gonna just start neatening up the body here a little bit. So the main body for this is basically holographic gold. I've got gold braid to find a lot easier to work with, a lot quicker and a lot more durable as well. Oh, got my floss here. Okay. So with the braid, I'm just gonna put it in underneath. Use the weight of the bobbin. Secure it, okay. Now then, um, because it's braid, as I said, you don't need to have it, you know, perfect. Normally if this was just a flat ten flat tensile, you'd want to make sure this body was nice and flat and no lumps and bumps. But with this, it's fine because, um, basically it, it adapts to the shape. But one thing I do do is I put on a bit of super glue underneath. Just to avoid any slipping whenever I'm tanning, but also giving a very secure hold. Okay, and then just wind it up. Okay, top of the turns are secured. And cut off your access. Okay, so I'm gonna come up again with the the gold wire then. You wouldn't normally need to rib the flat braid, but it's because I've got a butt in there as well. I want to make sure the butt's secured. So it's me having to finish it. Okay, I'm just gonna just yeah, I'm going to secure that too, believe it. Okay, so we've got three or four wraps in there to secure the, the wire. I'm just going to twist off the wire. It's a bit hard to do it behind the pop rivet because I can't get a good twist, but there we go. I think that's broke off a bit early, but... We can fix that with the thread. Okay. <clears throat> so the wing, basically orange fox, hot orange. So just like the tail, left the Saxon, probably be a bit thicker with Saxon than what you would have had in the tail. Cut it off as close to the skin as possible. Then you're going to see the guard hairs, which whenever it's dyed this colour, they're actually quite shiny. You can remove as much of those as you can just by holding the bottom lightly and trying to pull them out and then holding the top and removing the under fur. Again you can keep that for dubbing if you want but that would give a lot more bulk and it wouldn't be as more wet in the water as you could understand. Being a bit fussy here, just want the right amount. Okay. And then I want this to go towards the rear of the, basically where the, the tube ends. I don't want to go any further, and then I'll blend nicely into the, the yellow, the yellow tail as well. Just because I'm short for space here, I'm gonna cut off the end here now. And do a pinch and, pinch and loop. I'll secure that in. 
Okay. I'll do one out on a bit of super glue here. Just to make sure there's no slipping of that wing. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in a wee bit of flesh here. Um basically using Angelina fibers. Or craft fibers as you call them, basically angel hair. Just put that in over the wing and bend that back. I'm just going to cut these at different lengths just by running the scissors along them and put pressure on different points. Okay. So for the, the hackle, the hackle adger clock, so as I always do, I'm just going to expose the tip, the hackle, the hackle and break it off, and then bring out three or four fibres, no extra thread, and then tie in just at the break there. Fibers going forward and get tied down as well. Okay, then I just start to train my fibers, they point inwards. And then for this size of hook, I'm probably not going to tie too many, but we'll see how we get on. Probably about three turns. So that's one. Okay. I can go on forward, just pull it back and tie on top. Cut off your excess. And then I'm going to put on some jungle cock of this. So. You don't have to, it's quite flexible enough anyway. But I have a few wee eyes that need to be used up anyway, so I'm just going to do one at each side. Okay. Off my chest and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna super glue on top of that. Then I'm also gonna try and whip finish on top. Hold on, just wanna make sure. Okay, so I'm putting on a wee bit of super glue here to help secure in the Jungle cock, and then I'm going to whip finish on top. And I'm not worried about putting varnish over this because it's protected anyway by the cone, or what would be the cone. Okay, so there's a few wraps of super glue. And then a few whip finishes. If you wanted, you could change the colour now. I've got white thread, you could put floss over, but it's behind there anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Okay. And then, um, I haven't put the lining on this tube here. Um, I just, I don't do it at the, 
at the start because it would the tube adapter that I use it just won't fit. So what I've done is I've got some this is extra small um humor tubing, so that stuff there which fits in these little pop rivets. So what I do is I put that I've already burned an end on, so I put that up the back of the flag. So you can see it's under pressure in the camera. Okay, so that'll stop it slipping off. Okay, and then what I need to do is just cut off this bit, leaving maybe about three or four mil. Okay. And then I get my lighter. And I just go down on top of that inner tubing. And I'll go downwards melting into that pop rivet. That won't block the hole then. If you're going to where it's a wood. Okay, and I'll just show that back on. Like they can't put it back on because the, the liner doesn't fit but there you have it folks that's your your another pop rivet fly there and that's the andrew mcgall's version of the the thin gold okay as always if you find the useful if you find the video useful do hit that like button below let us know drop us a wee comment or if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button until next time all the best thanks very much guys